Wait for the Lord, be strong, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Our brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. From Mount Or, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people seraph serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it after being bitten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole, and whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. O Lord, o Lord, hear, Lord, my, hear prayer my prayer and, and let, let my cry, cry come, come to you. you. O Lord, hear my prayer. The nations will revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer, O Lord, o Lord, hear, hear my, my prayer, prayer and, and let, let my, my cry, cry come, come to you. Let this be written for the generations to come and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth. 
to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. O Lord, o Lord hear, hear my, my prayer, prayer and let, and let my, my cry come, come to you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise, Praise to you, you Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, he is not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, where I'm going, you cannot come. He said to them, you belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this world but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that, I, that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, who are you? Jesus said to them, what I told you from the beginning, I have much to say about you in condemnation, but the one who sent me is true. And what I heard from him, I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, how's your Lenten quarantine going? Are you sick of it yet? Are you ready for your normal to come back? Well, it seems it may go on a little bit longer than most of us expected. But with that said, really, how's it going? Are we utilizing this unique time in our lives, especially during Lent, to help ourselves grow closer to God? Or are we complaining like the people in our reading today? Is our patience worn out by our journey? Are we complaining against God and the government for our inconvenience? Are we asking God, why have you brought us up from our everyday normal life to live in this desert of isolation where the food and the water and the toilet paper are scarce? Are we disgusted with this wretched food? Have we gotten to our Vienna sausage yet? Now I jest, but I want you to realize that how things are and we were in, with the Israelites and how they complained about things thousands of years ago are still a reality in our lives today. We are still in the desert complaining. Now the bronze serpent in our reading restored the health and saved lives of the Israelites who had been bitten by the serpents. Now, these serpents had a poisonous venom, and after being bitten by them, many Israelites died. 
but the serpent made of bronze and placed on a high standard would become a means of salvation. Whoever looked at it would live. God took a symbol of death and made it a symbol of healing. In our gospel today, Jesus is trying to explain his mission here on earth to a hardened people. He boldly calls them out for their sins and tries to get them to realize what is really happening right in front of them. Jesus tells them, you belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. And he says, when you lift up the Son of Man, then you will really realize that I am. And Jesus is calling them and us to repentance. He is reminding us that sin leads to death and repentance to the God's mercy. Now, God always warns his people to heed his word before the time is too late to seek his mercy and forgiveness. God always gives us time to turn to him and to receive his grace, mercy, and forgiveness. Just as God gave the Israelites a way to be healed by raising the serpent, he gives us a way to be healed by lifting his son up on the cross. Now, when you look at the cross, what do you see? A symbol of Roman torture, an implement of death. But just as God took the symbol of death in the desert and turns it into a symbol of healing, he takes this Roman torture device and puts his son on it to make it a symbol of healing for us. Now, this doesn't make sense how this evil thing, this cross, can be a healing for us. But God always turns evil into good. And as we look at the cross today and gaze on a confused and frustrated world, we see many people turn from such a gory sight, feeling that their delicate senses have been outraged. Many people will accept Christ's character of love but they reject his crucifixion. But we, as a community of believers, must see beyond the pain of the cross and see the love of God stretched out on this cross for our redemption. The gospel of Christ crucified is still foolishness to millions who are perishing all over our world today. How few people recognize that the answer to all the world's problems can be found at the foot of the cross. In a homily about the cross, Pope St. John Paul II says, the human family had received at the beginning of earthly history a deadly bite from an ancient serpent. He'd injected a satanic venom the venom of original sin, into the souls of the first man and woman. And from that time onward, man's history on earth has been burdened by sin. A tendency towards sin has generated many evils in our lives of the individual persons and communities to which they belong, in families and entire peoples and nations. And he continues, the Son of Man must be lifted up on the cross. And whoever believes in him, whoever sees in his cross, and in the crucified one, the Redeemer of the world, whoever looks with faith on the redemptive death of Jesus Christ on the cross, finds in him the power of eternal life. By this power, sin is overcome. People receive forgiveness for their sins at the price of the sacrifice of Christ. They find again the life of God which they had lost by sin. People are looking for healing from this pandemic. 
do they realize they just need to look to the cross? Now, do we know the healing power of the cross of Jesus Christ? If not, now's the time for us to discover it. Brothers and sisters, though we are on a desert of isolation and the venom of sin threatens us, now is not the time to give up on our faith. Our sacraments may have been separated from us for a time, but we are a people of faith. We are a people of creativity, and with God, we are survivors. Now, do you know, God always has a blessing in every catastrophe. People, God has this. Don't worry. And most of all, as it says in the Bible over and over and over, do not be afraid. God bless. loving power of the cross and the gift of our Lord Jesus Christ, we make our prayers and petitions in confidence. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, and for our Bishop Lewis, that the Holy Spirit strengthen them every day to continue leading us in the way of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all the clergy of the diocese, that they be filled with the Holy Spirit and show us the way to be Christ-like by their words and actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, diaconate, and religious life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our deceased, especially those who have died from the coronavirus, may the mercy of God be upon their souls, and may they rest in the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our family members suffering in their physical bodies from ailments and sickness, especially the ones who may have the virus, may they find a healing in the love of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the health care workers and those on the front lines of the pandemic battle, may they look to the cross of Christ for healing and protection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And for each of us here, may we take this time left in Lent to turn from sin and look to the cross of Christ for the power of healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for all the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, as you have inspired us by the sacred word, may we look to the cross for healing our spiritual life, and may we continue to persevere on our journey through the valley of darkness to the light of the resurrection. And we make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed, be God forever. blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink blessed be God forever
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift, each year your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts, which the jo with the joys of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer, and on the words of works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly give you praise for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit. You give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for, con for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. 
May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Louis, our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior. Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, and the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and, forever. and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace. I give you look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you, you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, 
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before the final blessing, just to... Uh, note that we celebrated Holy Mass today for uh, the repose of the soul of Yvette Davis and Father Raxon will celebrate Mass later for Patricia Jex Dickinson, the intentions that have been on the books for some time. And a, just a personal appeal to really sincerely pray for our, our medical uh, workers, uh, the, the doctors and nurses uh, that are under tremendous pressure and stress in these days. Uh, and, and obviously, everybody in the healing arts and, you know, Deacon Eddie mentioned the reality of the kind of impatience and difficulty that is settling in as this drags on with really no end in sight. So uh, together, as Pope uh, Francis said, we're all in this boat together, really worldwide. And so uh, together we, we call on Jesus who is here with us and uh, comforting, healing power. Again, pray for our medical workers. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. St. Michael, Michael, the Archangel, defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, Cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Our Lady of the Gulf.